All right, good evening, everyone. I'm really excited to be here. Uh, I usually don't use notes, but then again, I just don't try to do 53 slides in five minutes. So for those of you who might not know about the National Library of Medicine and Food and Drug Administration's Pillbox Initiative, here's the problem we're solving. So much of medicine is based on pharmacologic intervention. Drug identification and reference information is critical to this. So who are the users of this information? Everyone. Patients and caregivers, clinicians, emergency responders, poison control centers, and health IT developers. So what's standing in the way of using this vast amount of drug label data that's already available? Well, the information <laughs> you need for drug identification reference is right here in the drug label, but it's a little hard to get to. The drug name, for example, appears multiple times in this small snip of XML that makes up a drug label. This small snip is one of a part of thousands of lines of code in a drug label that contains multiple products. That file is part of tens of thousands of files that make up the full drug label data set. So it's a lot like looking for a needle in a haystack made of haystacks. So, and these are all the high quality standardized images of uh, medications in the labels. Yeah, there aren't any. <laughs> so, what's the answer? This is the formula. Daily Med, which is the complete drug label data set from the National Library of Medicine, Rx Norm, a controlled vocabulary for medication names, and the combined knowledge of computer scientists, pharmacists, and regulatory experts baked into a search and exploration system, which gives us this, a data set where every unique solid oral dosage form medication has one unique record only, and this, high quality medication images, all wrapped into an intuitive application, a 508 compliant advanced search system, <laughs> and most importantly, everything including the search system is exposed through an API. Todd Park calls this data liberation. Well, let me show you what we've just liberated. Pillbox's new data set contains almost 15,000 medications and now includes over-the-counter, homeopathic, and vet meds. Remember I mentioned that we matched the drug label data with RxNorm? This is why. There are over 600 products that contain acetaminophen, but not all of them actually use the word acetaminophen. So by matching these data sets, NLM brings valuable data to the surface in a way that's not just open, but is actionable. Pillbox's data also includes the inactive ingredients and medications, which is extremely important if you or someone you care about happens to have a severe allergy to one of those inactive ingredients. A new feature we're adding to Pillbox's API is the ability to parse the dosage information, giving you the ability to add up the total amount of a particular medication, <coughs> acetaminophen, um, in a person's regimen, even if they're taking meds with multiple ingredients. If data liberation is liberating previously closed or hidden data, then data concepcion is creating an entirely new data set. Three weeks ago, the National Library of Medicine, with the support of the FDA, published a Federal Register notice inviting the pharmaceutical industry to participate in this patient safety initiative and create an open source library of high quality medication images in the drug labels. Here's how it works. Pharmaceutical firms that wish to participate package up their sample medications and ship them to the National Library of Medicine. We photograph them with the standards and specs that we spent 18 months developing with the FDA, producing images like this. We then send the images back to the firms for validation, and they send them to the FDA. Because only the firms can send an image and include that in the drug label. Why is it so important to have these images in the drug labels? Two words, public domain. So whether you visit the Pillbox website, use the Pillbox API, Daily Med to download the entire drug label data set, or you find the links at health.data.gov, you get access to this. So what happens now? So here are the things I'm looking forward to this summer. Um, let's talk about the third. Pillbox is leaving beta and going into production. First, we're going to be opening the API. No more keys. Anyone, anytime, anywhere can access the API. Pillbox's full data set that matches the drug label data and RxNorm will be available as a raw downloadable file, and the disclaimer will be modified. These first two paragraphs that really restrict the use of this data, gone. Sweet. So finally, Pillbox is only going to use images that come directly from the drug labels, and we've already started to reach sample, or receive samples from manufacturers. And you can't have a government health data talk without talking about apps, but these days you can't have a government talk without talking about budget cuts. So we've got both of those covered. We've completely refactored Pillbox into a framework where we can use a single code base and core logic to power web, mobile, and tablet platforms simultaneously. And here's a couple of spy shots showing Pillbox running on an iPad and RIMS playbook. And if you want to see it running on an iPhone, it runs completely offline. I actually have that with me tonight. 
So Pillbox was developed in the Health 2.0 community, so I'm not here so much making announcements as I am telling you this is the return on your investment. Thank you for helping us to create something amazing. Cheers, everyone.